time as well. Also, let's make sure that this place is cleaned up properly. Now I want to start copying off some of these settings. There we go. This one as well. And indeed this one. Wouldn't mind the aluminium wash, sure. Now, once we've got enough hatches, we'll probably set up a... We will probably have to set up a, a, a chamber specifically to deal with the eggs. Um, you can either gather the, the eggs that aren't being stored uh, in the incubators and turn them into omelettes, or we can drown the hatches and turn that into barbecue. Uh, next up, filthy feet. There we go. Next up, James. Slowly but sure, getting everyone into snazzy suits. Hmm. I've actually managed to get through some of the copper. Perfect. Very good. Let's get that up there. Pop that up. There you go. I think I will just go for two transformers, though. I think that's going to be a bit of an easier, easier job for me to do. Time to make a processing pool. Well, I mean... <laughs> but loud when you say it like that. Oh, what a cute little hatch baby. Welcome to the world, little fella. Time for a nice uh, bath. Mm. I'm still streaming uh, Oscar Tatev. We're going on ten and a half hours now. Hey, people were super generous and supportive in the early stream. It gave me the energy to continue. That's how it works. Okay. I'm very certain that the reasonably early on in the. Uh, in the stream, we crested the 365 uh, cycle point, so we've, we're going up towards 100 cycles in this one stream. Not bad. Well, I went to sleep when this stream started. You surprised me, Abak. Even if I know you do this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Solar Lancer, how you doing, mate? Might need some sustenance soon. Ah, that's fine. I, I fast all the time. Uh, in fact... Uh, no, I did eat yesterday. I had some muesli in the morning. Two days before that, however, I did not. Be, the truth be told, I actually feel more alive when I'm fasting than when I'm filling up with food. The moment I start filling up with food, I feel like I slow down. Right, I wanted to call this place out, didn't I? Yes, yes I did. Let me continue to bring this down. Pom, 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 pom. There we are. Perfect. I am a bit sad that we're losing liquids to the cold, uncaring void outside, but uh, at the same time, not necessarily the worst. We could probably... No, we're not going to go into space yet. I do want to get the, my little airlock finished on the uh, in the area here before we do that. But that'll come in a bit. 
Slancy suit. No, no, no. No, no, no. Slancy suit. No, no, no. Damn it. What? Oh, right. The scoundrels, you stored it. Okay, fine. Mano, next one's yours. Can I tick through that a few times? No, I can't. It'll always bring you back to the same place. Ah, it's kind of wax. Right, want this one on the same priority level, which is ooh, eight. Okay, and we want stone hatchlings. Incubate, please. Also, this should be a seven, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, there we go. Now, the only problem here is that they may actually use this water for <laughs> cooking, which isn't exactly what I want. Actually, exactly what I don't. Snowfoot, enjoying it. Pip, also enjoying it, it seems. Well done, Pip. Now, duplicate skills. Let's get you into exosuit wearing. There you go. You're not going to be just wandering around taking bajillions of years to get anyway. Oh, this is a happy day. At this point, I believe... Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but everyone in the colony can now wear an exosuit, which is just as well, because everyone in the colony is expected to wear one whenever they want to go outside. Uh, you know, so it's good. So it's bad that it took this long, frankly. Womp. Womp. I'll wait for them to build that before I tell them to do any sweeping. I cannot believe that Abac is still going. <laughs> Weren't you supposed to be making sure Lady Shilab is doing okay? I have been. She's sleeping now. Thank you, Dobalal. Hey, a Wonderbot. How are you doing, mate? Hello, Raiders. Welcome to uh, to the colony. What were you playing, buddy? Hope you had a good night. You're playing oh, Xenoblade Chronicles again. Awesome. I've caught a couple of those streams, actually. I've mostly lurked while I've been doing uh, doing other work. Uh, honestly, I, I love Wanderer streams for, for that. Just, I can chill out, especially when when you're uh, uh, playing along uh, with uh, Shell as well. I just find the, the banter and just the general atmosphere really, really relaxing, so I can uh, easily work alongside it and doing admin stuff. You finished at the end of it. Oh, wonderful. Also a bit of a sad one. Like, tell me true. Are you sad that it's over? Or, or, or was it the right sort of length? Were you like, no, that, that was good. I'm, I'm glad, you know, that it ended where it ended. Because sometimes... It's not that you, you ever at any point disliked playing the game. But you can sometimes get that feeling like... Yeah, it could have ended like 10 hours earlier. And nothing would have been lost. The end was right. Cool. You're glad, yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm watching the guy of the wok-powered car. Yes. My wok wagon. Same tier as Final Fantasy VII, though it had way too many side quests. Well, that's kind of, that's kind of a staple, though, for, um, for uh, Xenoblade, though. Xenoblade is the side quest, the game. Have a nice night, King Blue Anime. Thank you very much for dropping by. Wanda was five levels above the final boss. Yikes. Did, uh, was was it a little bit of a pushover, though? You know what? I, 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 I don't imagine Wanda would be the sort to, to necessarily not like being redonkulously high level compared to a boss, though. Uh, we need to be stripping this of all the parts. There we go. All the way down, so that this place is nice and empty. Have we finished built? Yes, we have. Perfect. Let's go ahead. Uh, 
Let me just make sure. Yeah, everything should be good. We all got across. And then tell them to sweep the everything. Absolutely the everything. Okay. That should do me well for a little bit. Uh, oh, I was telling them to mop the everything. I mean, that too, I suppose, but uh, also sweep. You're not sure if the last boss hit you once during the entire fight. Ah. Uh, Hey, Toothless, how you doing, mate? Kingdom of Amalur does have... Yeah, Kingdom of Amalur is, again, a strong contender for side quests, the game. But then, Kingdom of Amalur was initially built as a... as a... Uh, MMO. So it's understandable why they were going the side quest, the game route. Uh, oh no, we're going to take the steel. There'll be plenty of shovels up on the uh, the surface of the asteroid. That should be the apartment to, uh, to deal with. Okay, so we've built our second Thermo Aqua Tuna. Have we got all of the copper together now? Mm, we've got some of it together. Yeah. Okay, well, this is not going too badly. We've also got part of this power spine down here, so I can go ahead and set up the two transformers that are going to need to run this. I did know they are doing a, a, a every Master of Kingdoms of Amalur, and I was hopelessly excited about that. Because, honestly, that was left in copyright hell. That was that was just left in in copyright hell thanks to the I I believe the the way that it went down the studio that made it went under and as part of the reparations the IP became owned by the state and they didn't care they they just didn't care what what to do with it um I'm not sure how that that kind of uh, stalemate got resolved, but yeah, pretty excited about that. Are you duplicating self-sufficient at this point, Abak, or do they still rely on the occasional um, boom from care packages? They're more or less self-sufficient. Um, we are, at the moment, it seems producing enough water to offset how much we're consuming. We are easily producing enough uh, enough oil and petrol to run everything. Oh, whoa, 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 now, 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 what happened there? How much, how much power did I do? Oh, it's the, it's the wire bridge. Oh, no. Oh. I thought it was the, the heavy watt. Why is that? How did I break a heavy watt? Why that's got like a 20 kilowatt load? How on earth? But no, it was the uh, it was the conductive wire bridge. It's because I shouldn't have had both of these running at the same time. I am going to disconnect that power there and then uh, hopefully fix that heavy watt wire bridge. Uh, the, sorry, the uh, wire bridge. There we go. Night Avak and everyone, I gotta sleep, it's 4am. Stay frosty, freezes over it and slides away. <laughs> Take care, mate. Have a good sleep. Yep, Bilal, I, I was kinda, kinda keeping that on the down low because you know how much I love that game. You know how much I love that game. And now we've got a streaming channel that I can... I don't need to feel like if I don't think a series is necessarily going to do well on my main YouTube channel, I don't need to sit there and, and agonize over. Is this not just going to not do well, but is it actively going to hurt the channel? I upload pretty much all my streams to my second channel now. 
and those who want to watch it can go and watch it there and those who who aren't as keen on that kind of content don't have to go there so as a result there's a much stronger audience there for that particular type of content so there isn't as much of an issue and and, and besides you know the, my main channel is, is is the main owner the the second channel is more or less, less there to allow me to upload my vods because um, heaven knows uploading them on Twitch is not necessarily the safest way of doing things. Um, but yeah, I strongly suspect that uh, I, well, um, I may have to rely on some people to remind me that I, despite all evidence to the contrary, am actually human and do actually need to sleep and to eat and to, you know, not be sat at the same space for, you know, days on end, occasionally. I am probably going to be playing the Bajibas out of that. We are likely going to see me just start playing it, and then, like, you know, I don't know, the 12 hour streams or more will probably be the norm until I complete it. You'd like to see them reboot the MMO that they were going to make Amalur into. That would be really interesting, yeah. There is a strong, strong possible possibility of that. And yeah, Nordic are solid devs. I, I've got a... I, I actually uh, quite like working with them, to be honest. They're not just solid devs. They're, 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 they've got solid PR peeps. They, you know, they're... they're they're a very nice company to to uh, be involved with. Uh, right. Okay. So we've got our cooling loop mm, largely set up. Uh, at this point, I want to shut all this down. T turn it off. I don't need you bringing all of that stuff from over there. Oh, my lord. That's where you've been bringing it. Oh, I'll do it by now. Last time I was here, Avak was doing the natural gas thing. It was starting uh, uh, to store it. Uh, well, we are actually now primarily consuming natural gas. Uh, we are now also storing it. We're still storing it. Um, we're presently stockpiling petroleum. Because I find that petroleum is probably the better thing to stockpile. Um, to be honest. I feel that it is probably the the better of the the two to stockpile, and, and this just kicks in if I need a bit of a an extra boost from the natural gas. Uh, we're also producing natural gas from uh, all of the oil, so you know that does help out as well. Uh, where is the nearest next leaky oil fissure? I'm not actually sure. It's not over there. It may in fact. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's there. Hmm. Okay, we, we might have to uh, tap into that one soon. And uh, we've got loads. Uh, one over there, but then uh, loads over here. Two. Uh, oh, is there only two? I thought there were three. Never mind. And we found a new, um, uh, a new glacier. Okay, well that's pretty cool. I need to expand a bit more though. I really do. Uh, and we've got another oil biome down here. Okay. How about another oil bound on there? Oh, we could keep going down. I probably should, actually. Let's find out what's all the way down here. We're fine. We've got our Atmos suits at this point, so ex exploration is, is relatively safe. Relatively. Now, let's hook up that auto sweeper so that it will automatically ensure that uh, we always have food in the in the correct place for our hatches. And we are now pretty much getting to the point where we're stockpiling an awful lot of coal. So in the future, should we really need to, we can, we can switch over to coal power for a little bit to uh, back up a bit. I think we've sorted, well, we've almost sorted the, the CO2 problem over here. It is definitely a problem that I do need to fix, though. That is definitely an issue. I could fix it by isolating these sides to a certain degree. 
And that's a fairly easy fix to implement. Uh, so all I would do, I would need to build a little bit of a uh, walkway up to the reach that, but if we pop in mechanical doors here and here, am I not build it? Ah, oh, drag down and blast, really? Oh, heavy what wire, of course. Yeah, yeah, the power spine's going through there. Uh, well, that's fine. I can pop that there and have a heavy what joint plate there. So, no, I can't damn it. Okay. Well, that does make it a little bit more complicated, though. Uh, I can just bring it up, I suppose. And then pop the heavy one, uh, what joint plate over here. Tunk. Once that's done, I'll disconnect this. Uh, over here, I'll bring that back down, and then we'll have another door. Now, at that point, these sides will be isolated from one another, so the CO2 shouldn't necessarily build up in quite the same way. It will, to some degree. But as long as we can prevent it from moving so easily from side to side, it'll get easier for us to control. This is outputting an awful lot of CO2. I could set up a carbon skimmer over here if I truly wanted to, but I honestly would rather not just yet. I'd rather not delete the CO2 if I don't have to. All right, what we got down here, we've got uh, slime, it seems, another temperate biome, another caustic biome, some more salt. Some actual poke shells this time. Let's make sure this is done. There you go. The Weir of Balrogs, the dwarves in the mines of Moria, learned that too late. All right, put in the storage up top. Uh, which storage up top are you referring to? I'm afraid I will need a bit of help knowing what you're talking about on that one. Oh, that heavy what joint plate can only carry. Ah, okay. That's why we need this one then, I guess. I am a little bit surprised, though. Considering, well, I suppose both of those batteries are able to output at the same time. At this point, though, I don't actually think I need this one, so I am going to deconstruct it and deconstruct this one, and that'll be an easier way to resolve that problem for me. We had too much potential power coming from the batteries and the uh, the generator and the hamster wheel. And that damaged the heavy watt plate there. We've almost emptied out all of our available natural gas. Now, bearing in mind I filled that last time. We're already 36 cycles in. We've barely stored any energy here. And this is the problem with having the uh, natural gas as the primary. But that being said, we're doing an alright job of it. I'm going to drop this down though, because we've got a lot of it to run on. 
Let's allow it to deplete a bit faster. I don't think we're we're using it as efficiently as we could. Another leaky oil fisher. We've got a lot of diamond on the map as a result of all of this. Really? Poop. <laughs> I've built so many of these all over the place and I forget that I've got them and then all of a sudden I give someone a sweep order and then I... Yeah, it takes them a long time. And it takes me a long time to work out what's going on. As far as our duplicant's happiness, it's all resolved at this stage. So, with that done, I think it is time for us to, to rejig this and actually get the uh, the airlock sorted. Now, for that, I'm going to need... If I want to keep the... Airlock design, as is. I'm going to need three extra tiles. And I suppose I don't see any big reason not to do that. So, we're going to shunt this back three extra tiles there. Now, unfortunately, this is going to mean that I'm going to have to reroute some wires. That being said, that's not necessarily the worst thing. Uh, yeah, the park room will be fine. Uh, I'm fairly certain that the uh, the nature reserve requires just uh, four wild plants. One, two, three, four, five. So we should be okay with that. Certainly reducing its size, but otherwise it's okay. Oh, the plant said... Minimum, what's the current size? 54. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll still be fine. We will be certainly closer to not fine than we were before, but uh, it'll still be okay. I'm going to have to move this along an extra couple of tiles. There we go. And then disconnect all of these ones. By the way, I imagine this is going to be the last thing that we're going to be doing tonight before I wrap up the stream. So you have been warned. Hi back. I'm new here and I just realized you stream on Twitch. I may ask you for your opinion on my question. Why do you think Robocraft went down such a terrible path? Where did they go wrong? Um, that's a, that's a hard question to answer, really. Um, I think they kind of... They caught lightning in a bottle, unexpectedly. Uh, but the thing with that is that it doesn't last. They grew their their company very successfully but they needed to keep momentum going and that was hard to maintain um, so they had to change things up because the, the problem with I, I think ultimately uh, came from 
Uh, oh, sorry, rather with. Oh, damn it, that wire is going to genuinely cause me a problem. Uh, I think one of the biggest problems that, that uh, came with uh, Robocraft was that it got boring for older players. So they had to keep introducing new stuff to keep older players engaged. And sometimes they didn't have new stuff to add, so they just changed old stuff. They were just looking to, to keep the game fresh, to keep people wanting to, to connect, keep people wanting to, to, to um, buy more things, microtransactions, so on and so forth. Because ultimately, as, as, a, as a, a game, it didn't really have a particularly strong monetization option. Um, some people would, would, would purchase uh, like your microtransaction sort of stuff, but not a lot of people did. And to run the servers, you know, that, that game had ongoing costs. It wasn't just like a fire and forget game, not like a single player game. You, you write the code, you sell the product, someone runs it on their computer, that's it. That transaction's complete. For them, they had to keep running servers, keep kept a ha having a, a continual cost, but they didn't charge a continual price for the game. So they had to keep giving reasons for people to buy things. Um, or, if not the players who were still there buying more stuff over and over and over, they needed a constant flow of fresh players who would buy just one thing. You know, so on and so forth. It's rough. It's a very complicated problem. <laughs> Long live the synopsis in Whitby. <laughs> I love the fact that you still remember that. That is glorious. Right. Now, with that moved about, we can extend this. But I am going to need this to come back. One, two, three. And go up. Then, disconnect all of this. And indeed, disconnect all of these. Very quickly. Because this is going to briefly shut down all of my Atmos suit docks. We're going to lose a bunch of oxygen in the floor, unfortunately. But we'll see where that goes. We're going to dump a lot of it out into the atmosphere, which is, I mean, on, on the plus side, kind of good. But, uh, we need Atmos suit docks, which I imagine are stations. Yeah, 